quick update on that straight drop case involving Young Dolph's death. Allegedly, word around town in the streets of Memphis, man, this is going around town in the streets of Memphis, that black youngster and Yo Gotti has ties to Young Dolph's death. Now, if you guys haven't already, check it out on my channel. The insurance agent of Black Youngster was telling all like a Wendy Williams show, man. He was telling everything and anything, man, about the case, man, of how Black Youngster was reacting right after Young Dolph was killed, saying, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, this and that. So who knows, man? In my opinion, I really think that you know, this is all alleged that Black Youngster and Yo Gotti have put this young nigga straight drop up to doing this shit, man. They're saying right now, Black Youngster and Yo Gotti is putting up lawyer fees and paying off all the fees for straight drop. And that's the reason why he ain't in prison right now. That's the reason why he keep getting different dates and this and that. And they didn't give him his own lawyer because Yo Gotti and Black Youngster it's paying the lawyer fees, man. So uh, when they get to that next court date, man, we're going to keep you guys posted. We're going to find out from there, man. This is all alleged. This is the word around the streets, man, of Memphis. That's what they say is going on right now. If you know, you know. But, uh, yeah. Yo, Gotti, Black Youngster, count your fucking days, man, because karma is a bitch, bro, on my mama. You niggas is not going to get away with this shit, man. Your time is next, bro. Your time is up, my guy. So, uh, we're gonna leave you guys with this clip, man. He said, uh, well, actually, he had been calling me. He called me two times yesterday. Uh huh. He called me. Hold on, I mean, the date it happened. It happened two days ago, right? Mm hmm. He called me right after it happened, about three something, right? Mm hmm. Call me again at six something. So he's calling me, and I don't know what I didn't know what was going on. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm getting to where where I'm at the truck. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> anyway, October 29th, shot up the truck. He called me. He was like, he called me that Saturday morning. He said, Hey man, I need you to come pick up my truck and get it fixed. Mm -hmm. I said, nigga, I ain't no damn mechanic. You know what I mean? Like, I can't fix your truck. He was like, man, my truck got shot up. I was in it. Uh, I need it. I need a fix. Uh -huh. And I said, okay, I know what this man. Like, I got you. Uh -huh. I said, bring the truck, bring the truck to me. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I said, what hotel you in? I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you something because I don't want you to think I'm just bullshit. Uh -huh. I said, uh, I said, what I said, what hotel? This was on the 30th. Uh -huh. Saturday, October 30th. Uh -huh. I said, what hotel are you are you in? He told me where he was, gave me the address. Uh -huh. I went to pick the truck up. Uh -huh. Took the truck down to Jack Morris to try to get it fixed. But of course, they don't have bulletproof glass there. Uh -huh. So they had to order the part. Uh -huh. Truck had been sitting down here since October 30th, waiting on the parts to come in. So it just so happened, the day before the murder of, of Young Dolph, he called me, but he also called me. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, hey man, where my truck at? I said, man, your truck, you know, downstairs waiting to get fixed. He said, he ain't got fixed yet. I said, no, I'm still waiting on the parts to come in. I said, everything's slow right now, you know, because mm -hmm. of COVID and everything else. He said, uh, man, I need that truck. I need that truck for tomorrow. I said, what, you got some shows to do tomorrow or something? He said, no, I got some traveling to do. I need